You can see that one is so fat, he can't even write himself. Hey guys, we are in Beijing right now. We've been here for a few days and we have currently come upon a bit of a crisis. Um, the hostel that we were staying at has bed bugs. This is probably the worst thing that can happen while you're traveling. So as soon as we found the bed bugs, we packed up everything, we left the hostel and we found a laundry service in a Holiday Inn. So we are currently in the Holiday Inn going through the whole bed bug cleaning out issue. Um, so we'll have a look at what that's like. Our big backpacks were thrown into the dryer on high heat along with a few of these things here. Over here we have things that we need to go through by hand. This is our laundry. We have one washer and one dryer. We're not even staying at this hotel by the way. Uh, we're just using the laundry. For all of the clothing items, we threw them into the washer, high heat, um, and then into the dryer, also high heat. By the way, this is not our first bed bug experience while traveling. For everything that is not washable, you have to go through by hand to look for any sign of bed bugs or eggs. Everything has to be looked at by hand. It is now one in the morning. We still do not have a place to stay tonight, so we will see where we end up. But at least all of our stuff is clean. We've gone through everything by hand that could not be washed. Bed bug free! Last night, because we did not have a place to stay, we ended up having to come back to this same hostel. We took precautions when we came in here and we put all of our things in the bathroom. Um, if there were more bed bugs in here, we didn't want them anywhere near our things. So we said we wouldn't worry about it. Our stuff is in here. They can't possibly be everywhere. And here's what we found. So in here are a couple, three actually bugs. Um, one was on my bed, under my pillow. Two were in Ricky's bed. You can see that one is so fat, he can't even write himself. Um, we both got bit last night. Um, I have a few bites here um, on my like bra line here. You can see the red. Um, and Ricky has them all along his feet and legs. Of course, he's had them for the past couple of nights. We're going to contact booking.com and get that sorted through there. Either way, this is really, really a nightmare. We're hoping that none got into our stuff because we spent hours last night doing all the laundry. So, um, hopefully we aren't contaminated and we were just in, uh, contaminated beds. So, wish us luck. So Ricky just went downstairs. I used the bathroom and put my shoes on and um, as I came back into the room, I found another one. He was alive when I found him, but I think I might have squished him. Every single piece of our luggage Talia went through, every, like, the battery packets, the little plastic cases for everything. So we couldn't have brought them in because we just arrived here and uh, it seemed like the lady downstairs, she knows there's an issue. She was saying, oh yeah, no, we knew that the double rooms had bed bugs too. Don't stay in Beijing, send me to a hostel. No. Put this on top, here, here, here. I should have okay, don't let her. Whatever. So it's a couple weeks after our bed bug fiasco. We have since contacted booking.com and unfortunately they were less than helpful. I sent them an email telling them what happened, that this hostel is just absolutely infested with bed bugs. We stayed in two different rooms and both rooms were just full of them. Um, booking replied a couple days later saying that the hostel said we never asked for our money back, that 
you know, we didn't ask for any of the reparations that we're asking booking for, which is not true. We did ask for our money back from the hostel. They said they couldn't do anything without the manager and to just talk to booking. We were also given a week's free stay at this hostel for all of our troubles, which we would be absolutely would not, out of our minds to take up. I would not accept that because I think I actually have scars from the place, from the, from the bed books, which uh, I'm not doing that again. Why? Why? Why would we stay there again for a week? Why? It seemed very clear that they knew they had bed bugs, and I really doubt that they're doing anything about it. When I went into the room to go grab something, they had just kind of sprayed a liquid on top of one of the mattresses, just kind of sparsely sprayed this thing. They didn't treat the bed, the wood of the bed, the bed frame where the bugs actually were living. There's no way they're getting rid of those bed bugs that way. So um, if you go to Beijing, please, please do not stay at the San Lington Youth Hostel in Beijing. Do, do, just don't stay there. Don't do it. So this was our second bed bug experience while on this trip. And hopefully it's over. Hopefully we don't have to deal with that anymore. If you <laughs> like seeing us miserable, like this video. <laughs> if you want to see more videos like this about our, our real life experiences while traveling, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Check out the blog post below for information about how to get rid of bed bugs. That will tell you all about how to recognize bed bugs and how to get rid of them while traveling. Don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications for every single time we put out new videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one.